In this problem, we're told to calculate the number of moles in the 2 liter volume of air in the lungs of an average person. Note that the air is at 37 degrees Celsius body temperature. So what we're going to be doing in this problem is solving for the number of moles. Right? And the way we're going to do, uh, do this is by using the ideal gas law, which is this formula right here. Pressure times volume is equal to the number of moles times the gas constant multiplied by the temperature. So if we want to solve for n, we just have to divide, or divide by RT, and that's going to give us n. So we know the number of moles is just equal to pressure times volume divided by the ideal gas constant times T. And so if we want to solve this, we just need all these values. And so let's just go ahead and write down uh, the values we're given. So let's just start with pressure. So pressure, we know we're at, right, we're just going to be an average person. We're just imagining they're on earth, right, on the ground. So they're going to be at one ATM. So pressure is just equal to one atmosphere. We're just assuming they're at, uh, one, or just STP. So they're at one atmosphere, but when we solve this, we need to make sure it's in Pascals. So one atmosphere you need to know is just equal to 1.01325 uh, times 10 to the five. And then you can just write PA, which is, and it's just equal to Newton per meter squared. So I'm just gonna write it like that. So now we've got P, let's go ahead and do V now. So keep in mind, we're talking about the two liters of volume uh, in the lungs. So the volume is just two liters but we need to make sure it's in meters cubed, not liters. So the way you convert is just multiplying by 10 to the minus three. So it's just gonna be equal to two times 10 to the minus three, and then it's just uh, meters cubed now. So we've got pressure, we've got volume. Keep in mind R is the ideal gas constant, which is just equal to 8.314. So that's R, and then T is gonna be the temperature. Uh, they give us it's 37 degrees Celsius, but keep in mind you have to solve this in Kelvin. So the way to convert from Celsius to Kelvin, you just have to add 273.15. So now this is basically in Kelvin, so just add 273.15 and it'll be in the right units. So uh, now we've got all the correct things, right? We've got pressure, we've got volume, we've got uh, ideal gas constant, and we have the temperature. So all we need to do is just add them or plug them in. So we have 1.01325 times 10 to the five, that's the pressure. We've got the volume, which is two times 10 to the minus three. And we're gonna divide by 8.314, which is R, and then T, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna add it yet. So 37 plus 273.15. And so, uh, yeah, all you gotta do is just plug this in your calculator now and it'll give you the number of uh, moles. And so you're gonna find that it's equal to 0 0.07858 and so on. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and round, right? I'm just going to go ahead and round to 0 0.079. Uh, you can round however you want, though. So I'm just going to say 0 0.079, and then this is moles. So this is going to be your answer rounded. So you can round however you want. But yeah, so 0 0.079 moles, that's going to be how many is in basically the lungs of an average person. So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.